Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Red Flood, as Italy, let us continue on from where last left off. Is that enough to kill a rock? Um, do 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 It is fantastic, so a rock is about to capitulate. Which means that you guys are now considered encircled. So we should be able to kill these British troops off without too much hassle. After that is going to be our push into here. For now, I am going to give Armenia control of this territory. Just so they have a border with Persia. And they'll send their troops down there to help us fight. That's really about it. Our oil situation should slowly be improving just because we actually have uh, oil reserves now. Will you be able to kill me off? No. There we go. We'll take that port from them. And this whole area is going to be pretty much secured. Soon enough. Armenia's clear war on the Cossack society. Will you join any faction? I don't think so, so that, that's fine. We'll give the territory to Armenia. That That's okay, because we're going to kill Armenia in the future regardless. We're not too concerned about that. I'm guessing you are... Yeah, with the Americans also being in the war... It does lead to um, some potential problems, I would say. Are you giving military access to anybody? To the British and to the Americans. Okay, so that, that does hamper us a little bit. But, I mean, France, France should kill Brazil. I'm, I'm not worried about what France is going to do. We are, I mean, apparently there's a bunch of naval invasions planning on happening. We have low supply down in uh, the middle of the desert. Which doesn't surprise me too much. We'll delete your orders. Apparently there's going to be a naval invasion in Italy, so let's at least send some units down here. Just to make sure nothing too, too bad happens. The Cossack uh, society is actually doing pretty well for themselves. All things considered. Like, how many men do we have? Um, we've lost 2 million, the... That's including the international, they've lost 3.3 .3 million. All the Dutch into this war. So... I mean, what are the numbers looking like? The international doesn't matter so much. 178 to 667, mostly from the Americans, which isn't a major surprise. We're gonna go get a pretty decent kill here. You guys prepare your invasion into, um, Persia. There's no territory here that's part of any of those factions, right? A little bit there, but that's really about it. And the British are trying to push their way into, um, into Libya, but I don't care about that so much. Yeah, because now that you're killed off... We'll wait until Armenia has killed the Kazakh society before we even prepare to invade our way into Persia. Because I want as many troops into there as we possibly can get. I'm gonna try, like, is there any way... Only 400 strength here. 1800 strength. So if we can, like, somehow navally invade around like this... Maybe we could get that to work, but... Like, that's going to be... Di like, what if we justify a war against you? 125 days still at the earliest is way too long. How are you guys doing down here, by the way? You're doing fine. I mean, where, where's Brazil? Um, how close is it actually capitulating? Not that close, but they're the only major power left. So maybe you could have probably made the argument that we should have waited until we killed Brazil first before we decided to invade uh, the British territories. But what's done is done. You know, you can't change the past now. You guys have, like, no supplies at all. 
It's just horrible for you. Um. What about you? I'm not too sure what I can do with uh, Central Caspasia at the moment. The answer, I think, is basically nothing. You can't reach here, really? I mean, who's flying in Arabia? There's actually okay. There's actually a lot of planes in Arabia, so you're just gonna go over Iran for now, and then we'll prepare a push in there in the future. Okay, so there's a British landing happening over here. Not a major concern, to be honest. Is it going to Italy? No, it is going to the British. Yeah, send you guys up. There's actually way... There's a lot of men right now in, uh... Near Yemen. Which I'm not a major fan of. Because, I mean, we could probably... You're a puppet of De Sweden, huh? You know what? I think that actually works out okay for us. We'll prepare the, um, the Costas Belly for now. If we can kill Denmark, Sweden, and then the Norwegian military government, because that's all... Yeah, you're all a puppet of them. Then invade our way into the People's Councils. We can maybe get something to work? Still going to be a little bit difficult, I will admit. And, of course, there is more naval invasions. Where are you guys landing? One guy landed in Malta, but Malta was already British, so that's not a big deal. It would be nice if we could get Israel into our faction, but I really don't think it's going to be happening anytime soon. And, really, the biggest problem right now with uh, the the Commonwealth of Nations is, is their navy. I'm not worried about their actual soldiers on the field. They don't concern me as much. Go to Rhodes. Okay, the Cossack Society's uh, been killed. We'll just give all that territory to Armenia. Congratulations to you. Will you be ready to prepare my invasion of... Um... Asia Minor also has... There's a lot of naval invasions happening right now. Uh, which is unfortunate. Yeah, please upgrade all of this. Please and thank you. I, again, I don't really care about what's happening in Africa. If they want to take over all this region, that's fine by me. It really doesn't make a big deal. Did France lose? No, okay, they do have another naval port. But, yeah, unfortunately, I hope the British or the French don't just lose all that territory because that would be embarrassing for them. Are you Malaysian troops? No, you're, you're United Kingdom. It's a colonial garrison. I think that's a Malaysian flag, though. So let's send you down to here. I mean, France has some units here. I think, you know what? Let's just clear a war on you now. Call our allies in. You have joined up with the Americans, which is not a major surprise. Now, what I want is our media to send all their troops down towards the south. And just kind of hold the line here as well as we possibly can. How many troops are you willing to throw down into southern Arabia? Like, I feel like it's getting a little bit ridiculous. But yeah, these are naval bombers. I completely forgot we had them here. But, you know, good luck to them. We'll see if they can make anything work. Apparently, we've had a victory, though. Somewhere. Hey, we sank uh, one British submarine. Fantastic. Um, apparently, we're not getting all of our resources that we need. We're not getting steel from Flanders. Why? I don't know what would be the problem, because we kind of we have a land border. Which I feel would be, like, the most important thing. Okay, so you guys have... Just take back this port. Don't let the Brazilians keep navally invading you. Please and thank you. Nigeria, yes, yeah, unsurprisingly part of the Commonwealth of Nations. 
Uh, they're gonna take over the rest of our colony soon enough, but again, I'm not too concerned with that. You know what? You guys who don't want to go down there, join up with Blue Army. Apparently, Blue feels pretty confident with a counterattack, so let's try getting that to work. Especially if we can get um, Armenia here to just throw some bodies at the Persians. Yeah, and we don't really care. Again, our colonial holdings don't matter so much. Why are we getting your way down towards Rio de Janeiro, though? Please and thank you, France. And stop losing your port. It'd be really, really useful if you would stop being bad. But you don't want to be a super aggressive. Just be on regular for now. I know we're not training any troops. I mean, I have 221,000 infantry equipment. I probably could afford to just train up some of them. I mean, artillery... Actually, 3.4 thousand. Um, we'll train up 124 stack here. I know they're still not great. Pure infantry armies are not really what you want. So we have... We do have 140, uh, 141 light tanks. So we're, we're improving that situation slightly, at least, which is nice. Um... What I should do, I think, is we need naval superiority, or air superiority, I should say, over the English Channel. Yeah, you guys fly to here. Four hundred of you guys go to here. You guys deploy whatever interwar bombers are left. And then you guys can deploy some fighters, I think, should be good. So wait for all these guys to deploy. All of them fly over the English Channel. Naval support, port strike, air superiority, strategic bombing, all of that good stuff. Because you don't want to be here. You want to be to this area. When you actually deploy, which should be soon, if not now, there we go. Just have complete coverage here. And try blowing up all of their shit. That, that's my, my plan, is blow everything up. And hopefully that works out well enough. The Somali state... No, no, no. Which one is it? It's the Ethiopian state. You guys are accelerationists. If you guys were to theoretically join up with my faction, I wouldn't say no to it. The Americans are actually the ones who took the port this time. Oh, there's way more stuff happening now. Yeah, blow up all of their ships, please and thank you. Because if we can actually get a naval invasion here to work, I think as soon as we land troops on the British Isles, we win. Not against the Americans, but we win against, um, we win against the British at least. Like, as soon as you get troops on the British Isles, that's really the, the end for them. How many boats do you guys have? Uh, probably about 200, about the same for the Americans as well. As long as we can keep up pressure here. We also have another close... You guys don't do too much, though, right? No, you can port strike and also naval strike. So, yeah, you come up here as well. Just keep punishing this area as much as we possibly can. There's a handful of defeats, but the defeats aren't as bad. And, of course, we're also destroying a lot of their uh, shipping. All of those are really, really nice for us. Really, Armenia? You can't... You have 40 divisions up here. You really cannot push your way through. What if I... With the, with the kindness of my heart, I will give you these two territories as well. If you would be willing, like, I find it weird how sometimes the AI does not want to fill up this entire area. Even though it would be, like, really beneficial for us. Like, we'd win a lot more. We are losing some ships. Uh, some planes, I should say, which is unfortunate. We have 1,800 strength. Premacy for the AI is not super high. Do I have any scout planes? Your naval bombers. I do. I have two scout planes. So you're going to do a little bit of recon over here. 
So at least we know how much supremacy they actually have. Yeah, and if we just blow up like one... Any amount of uh, British ships that we destroy are, is going to be nice for us. Like how many... um, How many of their troops have we killed? 500,000? Really is pretty good, all things considered. We're holding our line here just fine. That American troop is going to be killed. Like, I, I was thinking about sending some units down to Brazil just to get the finishing kill, but... I don't think it's going to be super effective, unfortunately. We've got the Straits Commission, but I don't think they matter so much for us. Even then, you guys still are actually taking some uh, attrition problems. Don't be in Armenian territory. And let's let's finally research our um, torpedoes so we can actually use our submarines. Yeah, 109 days. Still way too long. That's actually really, really good for us. It's going to be sinking nine ships from the enemy. We have 600 strength, which is almost funny, actually. But for right now, what I'm going to do is we're going to build a ton of naval dockyards just so we can start cranking out submarines as fast as humanly possible. It's probably like another failed port strike, but the port strike I still think are going okay. As long as we're even damaging the enemy ship, it's still pretty good. And we have war goal against you, but of course you're in our faction, so I can't actually press that claim. Persia is pretty powerful. I will admit that. Some naval invasions happening. Really, we're just going to wait for the troops to land, and then we'll kind of make our um, strategic decisions. Like, why attack with just one infantry? Like, how close is Brazil to capitulating at this point? I mean, they're pretty close. How is naval superiority looking here? I mean, just any amount of ships would probably get it done for us. But you really just need to push your way towards Rio. It's worth 16 victory points. It's a bit of a weird number, but... I mean, I guess just Rio is not going to be enough for you to actually secure victory. It's going to get you closer for sure. Okay, the Americans have landed here. That's where you guys come in. Shift your troops over here. Anywhere else? Yes, they have landed in the north, but it looks like the French should be able to kill them off without too much problem. Yeah, and we're just reducing the amount of ships that the enemy has by pretty substantial amounts. So I have, I have a good feeling that within short time, we will be able to get some uh, good stuff working here. Especially if the Americans keep uh, sacrificing troops to nearly invade Europe. Like, how many infantry do you guys have? You have like 200 divisions, probably. At least 200 divisions, which is a ton. Uh, France, would you actually just give me submarines? I doubt it. You know, you cannot. Okay. You can only give me convoys, which I really do not need. I was resistant to him, by the way. Basically non-existent, so I'm not concerned at all about that. Do some pushes here. But you guys are not... Oh! Okay, the French are doing something, but Armenia is doing nothing at all. I will build up... No, no, okay, I will not build up naval bombers, because so I do not have them researched. There we go, another... We lost... Again, we're losing 14 close air support, but we're sinking 7 ships. That's much better for us. We also slow down on you. Crank up aircraft production, for sure. How many guns do we have? 200,000... Cut you down to, like, half. Do something like this. You should be looking good. Even if we cut down, um, production on our rifles in half, we're, we're still gonna have more than enough, I would say. You guys actually just hold, um, hold the ground here. Should be fine. There's still all these naval invasion plans. Most of them, I guess, haven't succeeded, I guess. Like, I'm not too sure where they even are. I mean, the AI is actually taking uh, attrition penalties here as well, which is nice for us. 
How are you guys doing? I'm actually going to pull you guys right away. Uh, we'll get two commanders. Sign you here. Throw you under a field marshal. I'll promote this guy to field marshal. That seems fine. And I'm going to send you... You might all die, but I'm going to send you down to Brazil just to end the war with the International a little bit sooner. You will be the Orange Army, because I don't have an Orange Army quite yet. Yeah, so just make your way over there. The French lost a lot of ships. Um, I wish I could tell the AI, hey, don't send out your navy. I'm using all of my ships to bomb the hell out of the English Channel. Do they have any actual... How many ships does the British have? Probably about 75. So not really anything we need to concern ourselves with, I would say. The AI does have 800 um, fighters in the region, which is not a major surprise to do some close air support. Losing 24... I mean, I guess they do have all these fighters that are trying to uh, stop us from blowing them up. Which is reasonable, I would say. How is um, superiority here? 2,000, 26,000... 15. I mean, really, our best bet would be to, like, invade from here to Ireland, probably. What if we send you guys to the north? Okay, no. We had to send everybody to, like, one sea zone. Because when, when are you done? 63 days. And I cannot ask for technology, unfortunately. I can't just be like, hey, can you tell me how to make... Torpedoes, that would be really useful for our war effort. But I do think that for right now, it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you much for watching. My name is If you've enjoyed, run a thumbs up. And not do it, click thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.